Mary is with us. Mary's in Dallas. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm great, Dave. Good to good to talk to you. You too. What's up? Well, uh, my husband's retiring. He had his business for, I'm going to say, 35 years now. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, as part of that, we went ahead and did a small building, uh, which we've been, you know, running this business out of. So uh, we actually went to and talked to a realtor about it, a commercial realtor. Mm-hmm. And uh, we actually sold it before it actually even went on the market. Wow. <laughs> so that, that's how hot real estate is in Dallas right now. Wonderful. And what did you do so, with the business? Did you sell it? Uh, the business, no, it's it's actually a service business, so it's not really, I mean, it'd be like selling a job. Okay, so you just closed it. So, yeah, yeah, we're just, he's still, we're still in the process of liquidating. We've got a lot of customers that are upset that we're going out, but, mm-hmm. you know, uh, he's going to be 66 in September, and, you know, time time, time for a break. Enough so already. he's worked very, okay. very hard. Cool. What did the commercial building bring? Uh, three hundred and thirty-three thousand cash. Wonderful. So uh, we were pleased to get a full cash offer. So, sure. Good. And it's paid for. Mm-hmm. We we don't have, have any debt. Good. So we're we're city. We also have, uh, including including that three hundred and we I think we had it around three hundred and fifty thousand estimates. But anyway, we have around one point one million in real estate. Mm-hmm. Now that we're we've liquidated a portion, or we're going to be liquidating a portion of that. We close here in you know in a couple of weeks. And other than real estate, what do you have in retirement? Uh, I want to say, I mean, I know we've got a total of about two point one million in assets. Phenomenal way to go, Mary! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, so did anyway, y'all, when y'all so, started out, did you have anything? Excuse me. Did you Did you start out rich? Oh God, no, no. This is just uh, hard work. Yeah. You started. <laughs> hard, did you inherit? Did you inherit a bunch of money? No, 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 no. What, no, what kind of what kind of service? What kind of service <laughs> business did he have? Uh, did repair services for uh, on uh, control systems okay. uh, for right. utility companies. Wow! So Very cool. They would they yeah they'd find the the bad boards and they'd send them to him and then mm-hmm. he'd fix them and so it's a nice little business. But unfortunately, what happened? You know, a lot of our stuff was the coal business, mm-hmm. and we all you know coal coal plants are just you know they're dying by the day. Yeah, so. they are. Yeah. Okay. And All right. Well, I just always like to ask a millionaire how they got there, so it's very cool. Congratulations. I still, I still don't feel like I am one. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you you started from nothing. You worked your butt off your whole life, and you're worth $2 million. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. How can I help yeah. you? Well, uh, we want to take a portion of this money and have some fun with it for a change. Absolutely. Uh, so we kind of figure it's time. So we're we're going to net probably, you know, but uh, after uh, all the closing fees, uh, it's going to be about three hundred and eight thousand, and then mm-hmm. we're going to owe about twenty k in taxes on that. Gotcha. I'm a CPA, so I can't I gotcha. help myself. Okay. Uh, so I make uh, currently I'm still working, and probably will work for the next few years, and I make about one hundred and twenty five thousand a year. Phenomenal. Okay. So. Now, so obviously his income's going down, and mine is going to remain steady until I'm ready to retire, and then I get a small pension when I retire, a okay. very small pension. Okay. But uh, so I guess I, what I want to do is just kind of we want to get an RV. Okay. Obviously, okay. we're not going to get a new RV. Well, what are you thinking I'm, of spending on the RV? Well, my husband's kind of thinking all the way up to about 150000 I think you and should. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I think you should. <laughs> I think you should buy a $150,000 RV. And, and it has nothing to do with anything except it's a very, very small percentage of your world. It's about 8% of your net worth. Yeah. Whoopee. Yeah, I know. If you drive it off nervous. a cliff without insurance, your life does not change. <laughs> this is true. Okay. This is true. So the point is an RV yeah, is an RV as an, vehicles. <laughs> an RV as an investment is in the same category of boats and airplanes. Right. It sucks. Right. It sucks. Yes. It's going to go down in value so fast it's going to make you puke. Right. But so what? You want sure. an RV? You get an RV. You worked your butt off your whole life for $2 million. It's a small, small percentage of your life. You're not, okay. you're not going to finance it. You're going to pay cash. And if it, yeah. if, 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 it, if it does nothing but burn down in the driveway, you owned it and it didn't affect your life. It's a small percentage of your world. That's how you define whether you can afford a toy or not. 
and this is a toy. Okay. This is a toy. Yes. Well, yeah, it's a, to me, it's a big toy, like I said. I'm, and yeah. I'm the spender yeah. <laughs> in yeah. marriage, and it's like he's, he's just been... Yeah, but you're, you're also, you saving, also so. looked like I did at it. You saw depreciation on four wheels. <laughs> exactly. That's what you saw. Because <laughs> it, like, it, it is absolutely <laughs> ludicrously bad as far as money goes, yeah. but you can afford it. And if that's your idea of fun at 66 years old, working your butt off, starting from nothing and having $2 million net worth, then get one and do it. Now, don't do 10 of them. Do one. But have the fun and enjoy every minute of it. You've earned it. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. You can do this. You know, that really is a message. Whether you've got $270,000 in student loan debt or $27,000, whether you've got a $50,000 income or a $500,000 income, 